everyone, today is safety day, Monday, Monday. This here is one of our setups that we have. Uh, I want to walk you through what we're doing um, when it comes to stopping the violence in America and making America safer, especially in our inner cities. What you're looking at here, this is the promotion of things for our kindergartners all the way to our 12th graders. This is something for everyone to win money. I believe that winning money, it will be a big, big, big uh, morale boost in inner city America. When young people can compete and win money, it will help families out, especially in the third and fourth weeks of the month when families typically struggle that's dependent on government assistance. So let's walk through it real quick. This here is what we're doing for kindergartners, coloring competition. This here is what we're doing for seventh graders. As you can see, there are puzzles. Um, and it's all based on speed and time. This is what we're doing for 10th graders. You look right here, they got to draw that map of Africa. Whoever get the most right wins. All this, all of these 13 competitions is applicable to any block. Because on any block, you got a kindergarten through 12th grader. All right. Who's going to pay for this? Let me bring you over here. This here are the businesses who are funded. So these are the lounges. And in Chicago, those 20 zip code lounges, these are the beauty salons, still black owned, black owned. These are the barbershops, still black owned. These are the daycares. So we saying daycares, we want you only to help kindergartners out. We saying to lounges, only help 12th graders out. And this is the list of them, right? So now who has the list of those 12th graders? Who has the list of those kindergartners? That's who's paying for it right there. This is the young people we need to identify on the block, and we need to know that, and voila. Here's the list of every grade. That top one right there is kindergarten. That's uh, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And it's set up so that you have them for every zip code. So we'll know in zip code 60636 how many kindergartners on that paper. We'll know by zip code. Now here's the, the challenge for us. <laughs> the challenge for us when you put something together like this is support because everyone is doing their own thing. People are trying to fight it themselves. We got block clubs that's a part of the local alderman, meaning they're not going to do nothing without the alderman uh, support. And that holds us back. But we got to fight forward. We're going to be asking parents, get your kids in these competitions, whether your block club do it or not, because unfortunately, the block clubs have been corrupted by politics or community development corporations who kind of control them. And <laughs> we must control our blocks. I get that. But your block club can't control the block if you don't have opportunities and outlets for them people on the block who's not acting right. So if you're not partnered with a group that can get your young men to Washington to help fight forest fires, you're saying stop selling drugs, but what are you offering them? So it's not going to be as impactful. So that's why it's real important to support a broader network other than your local CDC or your local alderman who's pulling blocks together or caps. That's all.